stage next, welcome Christine Hackman. Thank you. <sighs> yes, I am Christine. I come to you from the time of the Jennifers and the Tracys and the Michelles, long after the time of the Gertrudes and the Mildreds, but before the time of the Zoes with the umlaut. <laughs> it is Lent, I am observing Lent, so for 40 days I have given up something I enjoy. I am not drinking my calories right now. Don't worry, I am still eating my feelings. <laughs> I recently put on some weight, and I, I blame it on a new medication that I've been taking, um, Flintstones vitamins. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, I, I like to watch romantic tragedies before I weigh myself, because I find it's a really effective way of losing a lot of that excess water weight from my eyeballs. <laughs> So the Canucks are playing tonight. They're gonna make it in the um, playoffs this year. Yay. Yeah. yeah, I don't care. But I, it, it does mean I do have to make some decisions. So do I buy runners now for optimum looting efficiency later? <laughs> or do I wait till the riots and just pick some up then? <laughs> But this year, I promised myself I'm going to loot ethically, so I'm going to take transit downtown, and I'm only going to steal from formerly Canadian companies like The Bay and Tim Hortons. So, thank you, thank you. Um, I was downtown recently, and I'm standing on the corner, and this guy comes up to me, and he says, are you working tonight? <laughs> I was a little flattered, obviously. Um, and I'm thinking, well, maybe this is a new revenue stream for me. Because obviously, to at least one person, their ideal sex worker is this. <laughs> Very strange. Um, my taste in men is different, though. I like men that have big beards and blue eyes and a working knowledge of the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> I, I have uh, been adorning my body over the years with tattoos and piercings so that I will attract a mate. And so I, I recently got some new ink, which I believe is very, um, it, well, it's intimate, but it's, it's age appropriate. So now my nipples say, lift here. <laughs> my underboob says, sorry, try again. <laughs> my fupa says, choking hazard. <laughs> So I, I haven't been dating for a while. The last time that I went to do online dating, um, true story, it was through the Craigslist personals. <laughs> I know, red flags everywhere. Um, this is the home of like used goods and stuff, but that's what I'm selling. So anyway, <laughs> I go to the Craigslist personals. And, and this, you gotta understand, this was also in the before times, as in before it got all murdery on there. <laughs> so, so the guy shows up at the coffee shop and he launches into this sob story about, oh, I lost my home and my business and my wife, and I'm living in a boarding house and I'm sleeping on a couch, but I really want to find true love. But all women are gold diggers. <laughs> Sir, you are so broke ass. You came here by a bus because you told me you couldn't afford to date outside of your transit zone. <laughs> You could not afford to treat me to a drip coffee here at the Tim Hortons. There will be no gold digging here, sir. Your mine is tapped out. And then, and then the fucker has the audacity to suggest that we should sleep together that day to find out if we have sexual chemistry for the next date. Oh my God. Sir, I am not try before you buy. I am not giving out free samples. I'm a grown-ass woman, not a Costco. Also, how the fuck is this supposed to work? You're sleeping on a couch. You can't host. And you've only got 17 minutes left on your bus transfer, so... Yeah. Anyway, I was married a few times, but the last one, he was... Uh, 
he ended up being more like a sex toy to me in that uh, I did all the work and he was just a big dick. <laughs> but, um, I did hear actually, and, and maybe you can confirm this for me, they say that you can clean your sex toys by putting them in the top rack of your dishwasher and running the sa sanitation cycle. So uh, let me know if you've tried that so I know not to go to your house for dinner. <laughs> So I work in the arts, so I will, I'll never be able to retire. So I am looking for a career uh, as my next choice, and I have found one. And this is great because it's something that I can age into. Granny porn. <laughs> I am so excited. I feel like this is something that I have practiced for my whole life. Um, I, I won't get fired if I take a couple naps on the job. I've always admired people who work in the trades, especially the rough ones. Huh. Um, I won't embarrass my family because by the time my career really picks up, they'll all be dead. <laughs> and the best part is I don't actually have to uh, send in a resume to Pornhub. I just have to give them a link to my only grands. Uh. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you with this, this thought. I just uh, learned something new today and I'm very excited. So there is a term for people who, like yourselves, find yourselves sexually attracted to comedians. <laughs> There's a name for you people. You're called chuckle fuckers. <laughs> and that just makes me ridiculously happy. Anyway, I'm gonna be in my dressing room. I'll see you chuckle fuckers later. Peace out.